This will be for the con assignment. Use Pythagorean theorem to find isosceles triangle side lengths. So for all of these, you're going to be given an isosceles triangle. All right, the reason I know it's isosceles, these two angles are marked congruent, and these two side lengths are marked congruent. So we actually have a pair of congruent triangles in this drawing. All right, if you look at this angle here, they marked this one congruent to this one, and both triangles share this side in the middle right here. So these triangles are congruent by angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. So all of the triangles given in this exercise will be like this with two congruent triangles. All right, and if this triangle matches this triangle, then we know that this side length here has to match this side length right here. All right, and we also know that this angle right here has to match this angle right here. All right, and we know a straight line, a straight angle, is 180 degrees. So if these two match, they have to be 90 and 90 degrees. If they both add to 180 and they're both equal, then they both have to be 90 degrees. So all of the triangles in this exercise will be set up like this. So we might as well label these angles here as right angles, and we might as well label the two halves of the bottom of the triangle congruent. All right. So if the entire bottom of this triangle is four, well, four times a half is just two. So this side length is two, and this side length is two. And now we can just use Pythagorean theorem on this triangle right here on the right hand side. All right, recall the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, so the side across from the right angle is always labeled c. That's your hypotenuse. Okay, the other two sides, it doesn't matter which is which. So I'll call this side length right here, I'll call that a. And this side length right here, I'll call that B. So A squared is going to be 3 squared. B squared is going to be 2 squared. And C squared is going to be X squared. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. Equals X squared. 9 plus 4 is 13. Solving for x squared, you just take the square root of both sides. Square root of x squared is just x, and that equals radical 13. So just find your answer, radical 13. So these are all set up the same. Okay, we have two congruent triangles by angle, angle, side. That means these angles are congruent. They both have to be 90. That means that these side lengths are each congruent as well. The entire base is 6. 6 times 1 half, or 6 divided by 2, is just 3. And we're going to work with this triangle here on the right-hand side. Using our formula for Py Pythagorean theorem, if you go across from your right angle, that's always going to be C. The other two sides, it doesn't matter which is A or B. So I will let A equal X, and I will let B equal 3. All right, we're working with this triangle right here. A squared is X squared. B squared is 3 squared. 
c squared is 5 squared. Three times three is nine. Five times five is 25. Solving for x squared, I subtract nine from both sides. Bring down your x squared. Nine minus nine cancels. 25 minus nine is 16. Solving for x, you take the square root of both sides. The square root of 16 is just four. Answer C. So you want to start by labeling your triangle. Okay, label the right angles down here. And label these two sides congruent. Using our Pythagorean theorem. Okay. Label the sides across from your right angle. That side is always C. The other sides, it doesn't matter which is A or B. So I'll let this side length be A. That's a seven. And this side length right here, we don't have it. I used A already, so I'm gonna label it B. All right. So a squared is going to be 7 squared. B we don't have, so I'll just keep it as b squared. And c squared is going to be radical 74 squared. Seven times seven is 49 plus b squared. And when you square something that's under the square root, you just remove the square root. So radical 74 squared is just 74. Okay, solving for b squared, I'm gonna subtract 49 from both sides. 49 minus 49 cancels. Bring down your b squared. 14 minus nine is five. Six minus four is two. Solving for B, you just take the square root of both sides and the square root of 25 is five. Now, they asked us to solve for X, all right? We didn't solve for X, we solved for B. And B was just this half right here. All right, so we said these two triangles are congruent if this is five, then this one here is also five, all right? And X represents the entire base. So X is just gonna be five plus five, which is 10. And that's your final answer. So look for 10, answer D. All right, so when you get one where they're looking for X as the base, you're gonna have to um, just label this half of the base as side length A or B. And then when you do the Pythagorean theorem and solve for that, you have to make this one the same thing and add them together or just multiply it by two.